Hi, welcome. I'm Catherine Borg and welcome to my home studio. Um, I'm going to just show you a bit of my pinching and coiling method today. So um, I'm going to create a, um, hopefully I'm going to create a jug. So um, first of all I start with a ball of clay and when I'm pinching I just push my thumb in to the centre of the ball and then with my thumb and my fingers I just pinch, rotate, pinch, rotate, pinch, rotate and I'm using the same amount of pressure as I'm pinching and turning it round. You can see that my left hand is actually helping to turn the clay around. It's kind of like a little turntable and it helps to keep the, um, the pot nice and um, nice and rounded around the bottom. If you wanted a flatter base you could pinch it actually onto a board or your table okay and that will create a flatter base a flatter base as you're pinching and turning that around okay so I'm gonna just pinch and rotate and as you can see I'm starting at the bottom you need to start at the bottom of the pinch of the uh, the pot because um, if you go up too far you won't be able to get down to the base once the walls start to actually get taller. So if you start with the base first and then work your way upwards. So I'm starting getting that nice even wall and then I'm just going to pinch round. You can see I'm just getting a bit faster as I'm pinching round. If you start to get cracks on the, the lip of your pot, you can just either push those cracks over with your finger or your thumb, making sure that they're all sealed up. Or you can use you can use a tool if you want to do that. So I'm just making the walls a nice even size. So once you've got that to a nice even size, you end up with a, a really nice bowl shape. Now what I'm going to do with that is actually I'm going to coil on top of that bowl to create a, um, a vessel. Okay. So what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to tap that down just so it's got a, a flatter bottom. Push it down at the base. And then also, as I'm coiling, uh, as I'm pinching and coiling, I also have a, a number of tools. These are called kidneys. So I'm going to use these, and I'm going to just um, just make sure it's nice and smooth on the inside. So I'm just using my kidneys on the inside just to smooth that down. Okay. And then if you want to, you can turn it upside down and use your kidney and just take off any of the big pinch marks. There we go, so it's a little bit smoother, okay. So what I've got here is something called a banding wheel and I place my pot in the centre of the banding wheel making sure it's as centred as possible that's okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just going to push that down in the centre there I'm going to start coiling on top of my pot so I'm just going to move that to one side and when we roll out a coil I take a lump of clay. I'm using um, buff earthenware stoneware clay. It's, uh, it's quite a smooth clay, but it has got a small little bit of grog in there. Okay, so I've made that into a long sausage, and then with my hand I'm just going to push down. When you're coiling, you want to coil right from the fingertips, right to the base of your hand, and then that will create a nice, even coil. The 
you don't want to go too thin because then the structure of your piece will start to collapse once you build it up um, too high it'll start to sag but then you don't want to go too thick where it's like really heavy to use okay so I've got my coil there okay so I'm going to just put the binding wheel back I'm just going to place my first coil on I normally coil one coil at a time and it helps me keep the shape a tool on the inside I'm going to I'm going to smooth it all down on the inside as you can see I'm actually holding the outside while I'm smoothing the inside and when I'm smoothing the outside I'll hold the inside it's just to stop the clay from sagging and distorting and you can apply a little bit more pressure as well So now I'm going to just hold the inside and I'm just going to smooth down. You can see as, a rotating, as I'm rotating it round that, um, that smooth down now. I'm just going to then just going to pinch that into shape. And then if you desire you can also use a kidney. And then just smooth that down even more. Okay. So I'm now going to add. It's not really, really centered. I'm now going to add my next coil on. My next coil on top. So when you you don't want to put the joins in the same place just so it's uh, yeah don't put the joins in the same place because it'll make the structure weaker so you want to kind of um, so if your first joins down here you may want to put your second join up here and vice versa as, as, as you're coiling up okay so I'm just going to pinch that into shape and again I'm going to just Use my tool and scrape that down. Okay, so that's, and then I'm just going to smooth down on the outside. use your tool, making sure all the seams are sealed up and there's no little gaps. You can use your tool, or you can use your kidney. Just to take off any. So I'm just turning the banding wheel around and using the kidney and as you can see that's creating it's getting that's getting smoother okay and then I'm going to use a, a different kidney and then I'm just going to do the inside area holding my hand on the outside okay Just going to do a, a couple more coils. So this is how you build up a structure. So you can use this method and go as large as you want. Really, you could make quite a a, a large piece, but I quite like creating little handheld jugs. 